Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Professor Atman. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform parity test in our studio. So in the beginning, I will briefly explain the idea of parity test. Then I'll move to our script used to perform this test in our studio and interpretation of the result. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on SPSS, R Studio, Statistics, and Economics. Pet T test is a parametric test, which means that our data must be measured on ratio scale and it should be normally distributed. So, normality assumption is essential to perform this test. And therefore, it's a parametric test. Now, we can use pad t test to compare two means which are from the same observation. So, here the variable is measured twice, which results in the pair of observations. So, we can have pre post data, before after data, we can have the data on controlled and experiment group in which we have two different conditions or two different treatments. So here we are collecting the data from the same observation at two time periods. Let's take this example. Suppose we want to check the effectiveness of remedial classes on the result. So for this, we can randomly collect a sample of result before and after remedial classes. You can see the table. Here we are collecting the data from the same observation before and after remedial classes and that makes a pair. Now, what is the null hypothesis in this case? The null hypothesis says that there is no significant difference in the result after remedial classes, which means no effect of remedial classes against the alternative hypothesis of a significant effect of remedial classes on the result of students. Now, we are going to use this R script T dot test group one comma group two pet is equal to true alternative is equal to two sided and confidence level is equal to 0 0.95. This is the R script that you can use to perform pad T test in R studio. You can now see the R studio window. I have already inserted the data. You can see I have saved the data as paired dot data. So I am simply running this command. This is our data. So we have the data uh, from 10 students before and after the remedial classes. Now let's perform pad t test. So here we are going to use the R script. So t dot test. Our group one is before remedial classes. So this before remedial classes group is in the paired dot data set. So you write paired dot data dollar before that is our group one dot data dollar sign after. So we have two groups before and after and these two groups are saved in the pad dot data file. Now pad is equal to true. So we are telling the uh, R studio that we are uh, interested to know the difference between paired samples. Now you can write alternative is equal to two-sided comma confidence dot level is equal to 0 0.95. So this is our R script. You can see the entire script. T dot test, first group before remedial classes, marks before remedial classes, second groups, marks after remedial classes, pad is equal to true, alternative is equal to two-sided, confidence level is equal to 0 0.95. So you simply uh, click on run 
and you can see the result in console. So here we have the result. Now our test statistic is minus 0 0.78845. The associated degree of freedom is nine. We know that degree of freedom for paired samples t-test is n minus one. So we have 10 observations. So degree of freedom is 10 minus one, that is nine. The p-value is 0 0.4507 and 95% confidence interval is given. Now, as we know that this p-value that is 0 0.4507 is greater than 0 0.05, that is alpha. So since this value is greater than 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And therefore, we can conclude that there is no significant difference in the result of the students after remedial classes. Or remedial classes have no significant effect on the result of the students. So this is how we can perform pad t-test in our studio. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Crack Economics and Statistics. The practice data file is given on our website. The link is given in the description. Thank you.